Hello and welcome to my tutorial video on how to play Trespasser on a modern computer because you're likely going to want to play it on 1080p. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start the installation. So just insert your disk into your DVD drive. And then you'll try to click it on the startup natively. Uh, that's just what you're used to doing. And you'll get a message saying that this app can't run on your PC. Now this is easy to get around. Just go to the setup folder and click on setup 95. This will initiate the installer for Trespasser. So once that pops up, just click install. Click I agree. And you can definitely tell this is our game. It's running DirectX 6.0 natively. Uh, so definitely a older game. Go ahead and click yes on that. And I'm just going to install it to the default uh, file path, but you could install it somewhere else if you ch so choose to. It's going to create the directory because it does not exist, obviously. And another thing that's kind of a aspect of games from the other years back when people didn't have as much storage, they also they actually had the ability to run a lot of this stuff from the game disk and only have a very minimal install. You can actually see the install is like a third of the actual data that is on the disk. So that's pretty cool. It's something that simply doesn't exist anymore because pretty much all games are digital uh, and pretty much require a full installation. Uh, I doubt EA even has registration stuff in the back end there anymore. So I'm just going to re register later and now you can see the installation is now complete. So I want to go ahead and click play and kind of show you a before of which you'll be able to uh, get natively running Trespasser. So I haven't really had an issue of it not really running. Um, I'm going to skip the intro even though the intro is amazing. My name is uh, John you can already Paca see here Hammond. that I get this weird artifacting on the display. Uh, it's actually kind of hard to read how much it goes up to, but it looks like it's somewhere around uh, maybe eight, 800 by 600 or something around those lines. Uh, but definitely not a great experience at all. If you play some older games, you might have seen this like kind of purple and green uh Kind of texturing before, like if you played the, the original version of Star Trek, for instance, uh, you've likely seen that at times when it had issues or something along those lines. So now I want to show you how to fix that and actually play Trespasser on a modern computer. All right, so to fix Trespasser to run on a modern computer, you're going to want to navigate to trescom.org/patches. Uh, Trescom is an amazing community for Trespasser. They've been around forever, or at least as long as I can remember. Uh, and there's a very good app, uh, or a patch rather, that adds DirectX 9 support, which is still rather old, uh, even in today's day and age. Um, but it is enough to get Trespasser running very well on a more modern computer. You have uh, the ability to run at 1080p. Um, I don't know if you can go beyond 1080p, but you can at least run at 1080p, which is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So even if you're gaming on a higher uh, you know, resolution monitor, at least it will should scale nicely um, from there. So go ahead and download that zip and then you're going to want to open up that in your downloads folder and go ahead and extract that. So while we're waiting on that to download, which won't take much time simply because it is a really small file, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up a secondary file and drag it to the left of my screen so that it snaps to the left side of my screen. Over on the right side I have my downloads folder open I'm going to go ahead and extract all those folders and files and then on the left side I'm going to go open up my PC, go to my OS drive and go to the install directory for Trespasser. So if you did not change this it will be the same directory path that I'm going on which is OSC, uh, Program Files x86, DreamWorks and then Trespasser. So the files have been extracted are on the right what we want to do now is extract once again uh, the Trespasser CE. And here you'll see a folder with, called doc. Uh, then you also have Trespass 6 and then Trespasser. So we're going to go ahead and copy these folders over to the main folder on our installation directory. You'll now see you actually have two different launchers. You have the original uh, Trespass launcher, uh, and you want to click continue to do this for all items. 
uh, you have the original trespass, trespass uh, icon, but you also have a new application called TPass P6. Uh, when you actually want to launch the game, you want to use this launcher instead of the original launcher. Also, we want to go into the docs folder, copy configs, and we want to run at the highest possible configuration settings that we can. So we're going to go ahead and copy uh, trespasser underscore dx9 dash hq. Uh, that stands for DirectX 9 High Quality. We're going to go, in to go ahead and paste that in in our Trespasser folder. We're, you'll now see you have actually two config files. So what you need to do is just delete the original. We're going to then rename our DirectX 9 High Quality to just Trespasser so that the game recognizes it as the correct uh, configuration file. We are now done with the downloads folder. You can either minimize that or close that. And we'll go ahead and minimize the Trescom uh, website. So now to launch the game, open it up, like I said previously, uh, TPass P6, and that'll launch the game. Uh, you'll get information about Windows protected your PC, more info, you can try running anyway. And then you'll get a message about no write permission to your game directory. I don't remember always getting this. It could be that I'm actually gaming on a cloud gaming client, which is a completely different thing. So you might not experience this. Uh, but if you do experience that, what you need to do is just go up one folder. So click on the DreamWorks Interactive folder at the top of your file explorer. Right click on Trespasser. Click on Properties, Security, and navigate down to your computer name. Uh, so for my computer, the, sh the shadow dash, this random generation generated number string uh, slash users that's the computer name and then the users and now we're going to want to edit that and give uh, full control uh, to the users oops we actually have to scroll down two users though because uh, I was on the default all application packages so scroll down to users select users and then give them full control you will need to be an administrator on the computer that you're playing on to be able to do that, but it is kind of a My mandatory step. So there, you should be able to go to TPAS 6, and the game will launch. Now I'm going to skip that introduction, even though it is amazing. It's one of my favorite introductions to a game ever. Uh, having uh, Sir Richard Attenborough narrate this game definitely gave it a lot of characters. One of the reasons why I love it so much. Uh, but now we can go to the video sec settings. You can actually see I have the option. Uh, I didn't actually mean to collect, select a new video driver, but that is an option. Um, but you can go here and you can do some configuration too. Uh, so you can see the texture resolution is set to maximum, uh, and I'm running at 1980 by 1920 by 1080. Uh, but you also see that once you go to the video setting, you don't get that weird artifacting and everything along those lines. But you can adjust the quality uh, and the screen size here and you can also adjust the brightness. You will still notice that it is in the uh, three to two aspect ratio right here, but once you actually open up the game and launch the game, it'll actually go to the correct resolution. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that in the little introduction part two. So the menu loading screens are still three to two, but the game itself is now in the 16 by nine aspect ratio. Uh, you can see the game looks pretty good for a game of its age definitely a very fun game uh, so now you can actually play it and fully enjoy it without any black bars you know on the sides for instance so there you have it guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to get trash pressure working it's a very very fun game um, you can kind of play around this area in sandbox you can throw some of the th smaller rocks it has like a pretty realistic physics so those rocks are on you know the the rock wall over there you, know, you can actually knock those down that's very cool. Kind of this, this level is mainly just for getting to know the game and learn how to use its, albeit wonky physics uh, and wonky hand controls. Uh, well, the physics aren't crazy wonky. It's more the hand controls are really weird because you have the ability to actually control not only the hand but also like the wrist. So like aiming is kind of weird at times. But a very enjoyable game. If you're a fan of Jurassic Park or Jurassic World at all. I highly recommend playing through this game at least once. It's not a super challenging game. Um, once you've played it a couple times, like I have, it's it's fairly easy. The, the dinosaurs aren't crazy smart. I would love to see this game remade, like a modern version that has smart AI. Uh, less of a focus on guns, 
Um, maybe more like a survival type game where you have to kind of outsmart the dinosaurs because, you know, in this game they're just kind of fairly dumb. But definitely a very fun game, and as I mentioned earlier, having Sir written Richard Attenborough narrate it definitely gives this game a ton of character. But once again, I highly recommend if you are a fan of Jurassic Park or The Lost World or Jurassic World at all, the Jurassic Park universe at all, I definitely recommend playing this game at least once just to have that experience um, of playing it, going through the narrations, hearing that, and kind of having the ability to kind of look through Isla Sorna, even though it's not the exact one from the movies, uh, it is a very cool redemption and a very cool kind of addition and expansion of the Jurassic Park universe. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a big like, and once again guys, thanks, and until next time, Zach out.